Welcome back. As we mentioned earlier, today the city of Jacksonville is opening its drive up testing site. You must talk to a physician before you can schedule an appointment to be tested. And in this one, it must be a telescope doctor. But many primary care doctors have already been inundated with patients questions. Some who show up to the office with colds, with shortness of breath. So here's a sign that's up at Magnolia Medical Group that tells patients Wait in your car. Do not walk through this door if you have certain symptoms. So joining me now to discuss some of the frequently asked questions that you guys are getting, Dr. Vincent Galliano, thanks so much for coming in today. You know, you and I talked yesterday and you said, you know, you're not trying to be mean. You're trying to protect people. How are you handling these patients when they call you with symptoms? Uh, well, basically, Melanie, we're trying to handle most of these patients over the phone. Uh, the most important thing for us to do is not to bring sick patients into our office uh, so they may infect our staff or other patients uh, that need to be there uh, for other medical problems. And then let, let's talk about it because right now we have a lot going on. Pollen is through the roof. So give us those differences between the symptoms from coronavirus, allergies, cold or flu. And you even said it's kind of all muddled because they're so similar. Well, it is, and that can be a problem because people can have a cough, a sneeze, a runny nose, and sometimes it's difficult to uh, differentiate between uh, COVID-19 and you know, cough or uh, an allergy attack. And that's why we try and manage these patients over the phone. Typically, we ask them if they start running a fever, becoming more sick, their cough becomes more deep, to stay in contact with us so we can manage them appropriately. Oh, um, without bringing them into the office. And what is your biggest hurdle so far as far as getting your patients where they need to go? Well, I think our biggest hurdle, and I actually spoke with a friend at the CDC yesterday, um, is testing. You know, we just have not had tests available uh, in town. As um, you guys know, we're really just starting testing uh, on a bigger scale today. Um, so we just really haven't been able to test our patients to, to see, you know, who has the virus and who doesn't. You know, we've been watching the numbers grow as far as cases. We also know that 80% will fully recover. What does that mean, that recovery? Uh, well, basically, if someone tests positive for the virus, and, and I, this was a question I asked my friend at the CDC because it was a little confusing to me as well. You know, when someone's diagnosed with COVID-19, basically uh, they're put on a 14-day quarantine. Um, and when we say they're recovered, uh, they've passed that 14-day quarantine and their symptoms have resolved. Okay. So you find out you have it. What do you suggest? Because do the patients then follow back up with you? Because if they're getting this test, they're, they're given, they said that they're gonna get the results within the matter of time that it takes to get the results. So they find out they have it, what do they do? Uh, well, when they find out they have it, uh, basically uh, they're triage or ask questions about their symptoms. If their symptoms are mild, then uh, obviously they're quarantined at home and uh, again, treated over the phone. Um, if their symptoms uh, become worse, they start having severe chest pain, difficulty breathing, that would be the time we would want them to go to the emergency room, not just for a positive test. Um, and basically, after a 14-day quarantine res resolution of their symptoms, uh, th there is not another test that's done to confirm that it's gone. Um, basically, again, uh, you know, we consider that uh, uh, resolved. All right, Dr. Galliano, thank you so much. Again, you stay safe, and I know you're doing your best to treat your patients as best they can for other things. All right? Of, of course. Thank you, Melanie.